Hello everybody, this is Joy Universe and welcome to another unconventional jungler guide. It's been a long time since I last uploaded a jungler guide. With the recent patch 3.7.10, um, a lot of heroes have seen some interesting rework. Ravener is one of them. So today we're going to talk about how to jungle with Ravener. So with the rework, Ravener now has a uh, third ability which uh, I'm not going to uh, talk too much into details, but his third ability, his E skill, gives him uh, magic damage at every two attacks to the creep he's attacking and uh, the adjacent two creeps as well. So uh, that gives him an incredible farming ability. So we'll see how it goes in the jungle. So first of all, we want to cut down the trees in the medium camp, just, uh, just so that it's quicker. And then we're just gonna accelerate the game so that uh, we don't waste too much time in the at the start of the uh, jungling phase. So we're gonna wait for the creeps to spawn. Assume the creeps spawn, we gonna we want to hide towards the uh, easy camp and start to kill it. As you can see, at every attack, Ravener's deals magic damage to the creep and to and to two additional creeps uh, next to it. So after we finish the easy camp, we want to head towards the medium camp. Another interesting thing about this patch is that um, the corpse no longer prevents creeps from spawning. So uh, we can kill the creeps after the 37 second mark without any problems. So it gives heroes that sort of clear only a single stack a big advantage. So after we finish the easy camp, we want to head back to the. Uh, after we finish the medium camp, we want to head back to the easy camp. The skill, uh, the leveling of skills, um, is sort of varies. Here I leveled a W just in case that I need to. Uh, add, I need additional damage to clear the creeps. But in a real game setting, you can level your Q as well. So you can put two levels in your Q and uh, max your E. Then when you, whenever you have ultimate, you just level your ultimate. So, as you can see, just le just like this, whenever we clear camp, we can just move on to the next camp. Uh, however, I do advise that uh, you level, uh, you try to get level three before you move to the hard ca hard camp, because otherwise you might take a lot of damage. And uh, as for the starting items, I forgot to mention, you, you just want the. Uh, a hatchet, a shield, and some region. And since now uh, the couriers, uh, each player has their own courier. You can't just constantly um, sh uh, deliver health potion whenever you need it. Here I delivered deliver two health potion. I probably need another one. Um, other than that, the next item you want to work on is a um, abyssal skull because that will give you a lot of re regeneration power to uh, in order to stay in the jungle and the first piece we want to work on is the uh, life steal piece the vampire no the uh, I, I forgot the name of the items basically the item that gives you 10% life steal One, now we want to pop another potion. And um, don't forget to activate your E skill as well whenever you, you are clearing the stack because activating the E skill also gives you additional attack damage for 6 seconds. And the mana cost is relatively small, I would say. You, are, you will be able to activate multiple times throughout the jungling phase without worrying about the mana. And uh, so yeah, now I'm working on my next piece of uh, Aliso Skull.
Yeah, starting from level 5, you will see your E skill really deals a huge amount of damage because all the magic damage will do an extra 200 or 300 percent to non hero units, so that gives you enormous farming ability. And with the with the life steal, you will find it pretty much impossible to get killed by the creeps. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.